All right. All right, guys, so let's get back at allowing the categories to come in to this category select menu dynamically. All right. So this is where we left off over here, right? Inside the API, building out the API function that uh, allows Axios to um, make the call to the API endpoint. So now let's go start heading out to the back end. And this is the first entry point for the, uh, for the back end, the server, which is server.js, right? So here, um, this is going to be the match, the endpoint, API category, and it's going to call this routes category. Um, so if we go here to the routes category, here's where we have the routes related to the category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this here, paste right below, and make some adjustments. So this is not going to be a post, uh, post request, it's going to be get. Um, for slash and then we will we do want the user to be signed in so it will require this middleware here authenticate JWT token and for the controller is we are going to create a function inside of it called get or read all okay so read all will be a function that will read all or get all the categories back from the database all right so that's it for the routes and let's head over let's open up the controllers go into the controllers folder and category file so similar to the er, uh, previous I'm gonna copy this here and below paste and make some adjustments I will call this read all this is going to be synchronous. Uh, read all. No, we're not getting any data back from the front end for this get request. So we don't need that. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's delete all this here within the try block. And within the catch, let's see, console log category create error. I'm going to do read all error. And then the response that I want to send in the JSON um, as an error to the front end is uh, the same here. Please try again. Uh, please try again later. Okay. And let's start working here within our try block. All right. So the first thing, okay, so we are reading, we're trying to get all the categories from the database. So what we can do here is I'm going to do categories categories and then it's going to be a wait a wait because this could take some time a wait um, category right dot find find and for the first argument we're gonna we provide the filter but in our case when mongoose mongoose wants to have the first argument to be the filter but if you are if you're not filtering anything and you just want mongoose to retrieve all the all the the, the whole collection of documents the whole collection uh, in our case we want mongoose to re, uh, just just to return all the documents we just set this into an um into uh, an empty object just like so okay so at that point we should get all the categories right is stored inside here and then next step is we want to return that back to the front end so i'm going to do response status of 200 uh, meaning everything went up well and then i'm going to send um categories yeah just like that categories and remember we're using ES6 so we don't have to repeat ourselves and do categories categories like this okay just uh, just a reminder all right so that's why I just have it like just categories all right so that will return as a response the categories and that will return back over to the front end API which made that Axios 
a request right here. The response will come here and store it inside this variable called response. And again, we are returning the response back to the function that where, where the function was originally called was, was over here in the admin dashboard component um, over here, get categories. Okay, so we're back to the front end. Right, and again, I mentioned in a previous video, uh, Axios does use promises. So we're over here, what we can do is I can do a then, and then catch, just like so. And if there's an error here, I'm going to um, let's see if there's an error. If there's an error, uh, well, let me see here, something here, please recognize, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna console log, yeah, just console log the error, okay? Just like this, and then, and then we get back our response, right? We're getting back that response from the server. And what do we wanna do here? Well, we want to make use of this this use state method, right? Set set categories that will store the category, uh, the response here, which is uh, the categories, and store it inside this state here called categories. All right. So the, we're gonna call that function get categories categories, and then pass in as our argument the response data response uh, response data and then categories, right? Because remember categories, if we go back to the controller, that's what we're returning here. So we have to match the name here with that over here, all right? So that should set everything up. If I save that, this, at this point, we should have categories available to us in here. So what I wanna do is I wanna do a little test here. I'm gonna do a console log uh let's see console console log console log categories all right all right there we go um hmm. refresh this categories okay we still have the hard-coded values so I'm gonna go down to the select statement inside the show show food modal. And over here, I'm just gonna delete all of this here except the first option, which is choose one. We wanna keep that. Save. All right, and all right, good. So that's gone. And currently we don't have any categories. Um, yes, we don't have any category. Uh, we need to add a category into our database. So let me go here and add our first data uh, category, drinks, submit. Well, in case you're confused, you're maybe you're thinking, well, in the previous video, he did add some categories. Yes, I did. But uh, I, I later on deleted all the data from the, all the categories that were in the database. So I'm pretty much starting off fr uh, fresh. There's nothing in the category. So that's why um, I'm redoing, I'm adding a new, uh, another drink here or drinks here. In this case, drinks was created. So now at this point, we should have categories in the database and I could refresh this, uh, re press refresh in the database and click on a categories collection and you see here drinks. So now we have a drinks in the collection. So I'm gonna close this here and open this add food modal. Oh yeah, well we're not doing that, right? Uh, we're actually checking inside the, the console, right? Cause that's where we're, uh, that's, that's what uh, that's what we're, we're we're trying to test to make sure that we're getting the categories in, um, that's returned from the from the, from the server. Um, okay, let me refresh this. 
Okay, it's no. Um, let's see here. Uh, console. Why is this here? Okay. All right. The use effect here. Remember, we get the, the the two arguments, and I originally initially I set it to an empty array. I want you to add loading. Okay, loading is a state is a state property here. So what I want this to do is to use effect to run every time loading is is is, is changed. The value of loading is changed. Okay, so so I can make use of this category state property. All right. And I will use that over here inside the select statement to make a loop and loop and um, display our, our data dynamically. Okay. And that should, and that should handle everything and um, work. So I'm going to do categories, categories, if categories and categories dot map, right? Map allows us to map over the whole categories array and I'm going to do C C for categories or or like this and then I want to display an option tag with we need a key right Re react requires us to have a, key, a unique key and I'm going to do C I D and we also going to have to provide a value and the same thing the value is going to be c underscore id and then here as a value the c category right the category is essentially the name of the category right because if i go to the database here right it's the property name is called category and that's essentially the name of the category okay so that should take care of that. If I save this, it should work. All right, <laughs> fingers crossed. I'm gonna test this thing out right now. All right, so let's go back here. All right, so currently, let's see. All right, so meat and drinks. Uh, oh, there you go, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's already showing up that it's working. So meat, it drinks and meat is working, right? It's showing up and that's exactly what we, we created in, in earlier. Right, even in the database here, I'm gonna refresh the database. All right, you see, and there's only two, there's only two documents, right? One for drinks and one for me. So even the database is telling us there's two documents that we have, and that's exactly what we're showing here, the drinks and meats. And even further proof that this is working is watch. I'm gonna add a new category. So let's uh let's see. Let's add let's see. I don't know, let's see pastas. We want to add different types of pastas. Pastas. Uh pastas. All right, I'm gonna submit pastas which was created. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go to the add food, open that and watch. There you go. Pastas was dynamically added to the drop down menu. You see? Man, I don't even know what happened, honestly, with uh, when I was console logging that that the, uh, the trying to console log categories to to test it out. Um, but anyways, we see that it's actually working here. It's it's working. Um, so yeah, so this is so so yeah. So now the data is coming in dynamically, but we're not done. Obviously, we still have more, but we knocked out a big part of this uh, add food and modal window. That the so now um, actually let me do it one more time. I'm actually enjoying this, <laughs> adding a new category. So let me add um, I don't know wine, new wines, new wine. Okay, add a new add a new category for wine. Wine was created. Go back. You see, wine is inserted. Cool. All right, guys, so that's uh, it for now. Let's, uh, I'll continue on in the next video.